afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Michigan State University's Green and White Uploaded. So Green and White Uploaded, we have several different interest area days, but before we get into today's, which is gonna be art, communication, and entertainment, I'm going to introduce myself and my co-host. My name is Molly Barnes. I work out of the Office of Admissions here at Michigan State University, and I am an admissions counselor. And I am joined here today with my co-host and colleague, Mike Rick. Hi everyone, thank you all so much for joining us. As Molly just said, my name is Mike Rick. I'm also an admissions counselor here at Michigan State University. We're really excited for you all to join us today. So we got a lot of great information to share. Molly, can you give us a quick rundown of what today is gonna look like as well as the rest of the week? Absolutely, thank you so much, Mike. So for those of us who did not have the opportunity to join us for the kickoff of Green and White Uploaded, we went over all things Michigan State University and what our university is all about. But what we've also done for Green and White Uploaded is break down every day into a different interest area day. We have over 200 highly ranked programs here at Michigan State University, and we're trying to be very flexible with you where we're providing this interest area days, we're doing these sessions, you can hear from career advisors, hear about MSU's facilities and programs, and also have an opportunity to ask your questions to a live student panel. So today, as you will see on your screen, is going to be about art, communication, and entertainment. So if you're someone who's interested in languages, culture, writing, music, film, and theater, this is the day for you, and that's just to name a few um, within this program. So also, if you're interested tomorrow, please join us at 1 p.m. Eastern time. That's gonna be education and public service. Again, that will be at 1 p.m. So if you're interested in human development, teaching, political science, public policy, social work, join us. And then on Friday, we're gonna conclude the green and white uploaded with our social and cultural studies. That's gonna include languages, cultures, politics, history, psychology, religion, and gender studies. So again, be sure to join us for that. I know not everybody knows what they wanna do for the rest of their lives. So it will benefit you if you join us for all of them at 1 p.m. So without further ado, I wanna get things started and kick it off um, over to Christine. She is a career advisor um, and she is going to share some industry overview with you today. Take it away, Christine. My name is Christine Beamer and I'm a career consultant with the Career Service Network at Michigan State University. The Career Service Network is a seamless connection of career service professionals located in college-based and centralized career centers across MSU's campus. Our mission is to lead Michigan State University in providing valued career resources and relevant connections that empower students and recent graduates to achieve successful career outcomes. Whether you are interested in selecting the right major, exploring career fields and industries, looking for a part-time job or internship, preparing for an interview, or networking with alumni and employers, our team is here to support you. We offer a range of services, including one-on-one -on -one advising appointments with general and discipline-specific career advisors, hundreds of career events aimed at helping you explore fields and connect with alumni and employers, an on-campus interviewing program connecting you with employers both in person and virtually, Handshake, a career management platform with thousands of internships and job postings, and MSU Connect, a platform bringing the Spartan community together through mentorship and purposeful connections. Today we are excited to present information on the art, communication, and entertainment interest area and how it relates to careers. People who are interested in art, communication, and entertainment may explore careers that use media, writing, and artistic expression to produce creative content and tell stories. Those that pursue careers within this interest area are often viewed as creative, great communicators, social, and entrepreneurial. Common career pathways associated with the art, communication, and entertainment interest area include, but are not limited to, working in graphic design, journalism, the performing arts, event planning, arts management, advertising, video production, broadcasting, and related fields. You can learn more about these and additional careers and industries by visiting our website at careernetwork.msu.edu and utilizing career exploration resources such as the College of Arts and Letters Excel Network or the College of Music's Running Start program pages. These pages highlight internships and jobs in the arts, communication, and entertainment interest field, and feature stories of alumni 
working in these areas. These pages highlight internships and jobs in the arts, communication, and entertainment interest field and feature stories of alumni working in these areas. You can find these websites at excelnetwork.cal.msu.edu and music.msu.edu slash running start. The Occupational Information Network, also called ONET, a site that gathers data from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, is also a great resource. Here, you'll find a great deal of information on career paths, such as the knowledge, skills, and abilities critical to jobs and appropriate education fields and levels. And finally, Candid Career, which provides a fun and effective way to explore careers and learn about jobs through thousands of one to two minute video clips. Pop on to discover career fields that you didn't even know existed, hear from industry professionals about what it takes to get hired in their fields, and gather intel from the quick get hired videos that cover topics like interviewing, resume writing, and networking. While major does not often equal career, it is helpful to have an understanding of majors that are commonly associated with each interest area. Above, you will see a sampling of majors at MSU that are associated with the art, communication, and entertainment interest area. As you review the list, as majors of high interest stand out, make sure to take some time to learn more about each by visiting the msu.edu website. Now that we've introduced you to related degree programs, let's talk about why gaining experience outside of your degree program is also important and helps you become career ready. Earning your degree alone is not enough. We know that employers want to see how you have capitalized on your experience, both in and outside the classroom, applying what you have learned. They are looking for evidence of transferable skills, such as those listed on the screen. Managing your time, communicating verbally or in writing, problem solving, thinking critically, and collaborating on a team. Gaining experiences outside the classroom helps with your overall education and career readiness. Employers like candidates who have workplace experience, whether paid or unpaid. Experiences help you to build confidence, explore interests, test out organizations and positions, and build skills while expanding your professional network, meeting people you may not have met otherwise. There are a lot of great ways to gain experiences and skills, and many opportunities are available for you right at MSU, such as the ones listed. For instance, community service projects promoted through the Center for Community Engaged Learning offer opportunities to serve. There are internships available both on and off campus. There are undergraduate research projects with professors and part-time jobs within multiple departments. Finally, education abroad experiences and opportunities to become involved in a student organization can be other ways you gain experience at MSU. As a creative, there are some other ways to get experience and develop your expertise. Plan your own art exhibition or performance. Get a group together to create your own film, video game, or show. MSU also has many performance groups for students to join and regular competitions on and off campus like a juried art show, a film festival challenge, or a music competition can also be a great way to get feedback on your work. Many professionals in the art, communication, and entertainment interest field have what is called a portfolio career, which means they get revenue from several different roles or jobs. One way to start building that experience early is to seek out freelance projects to do. Maybe you have a family friend or colleague that wants a logo designed. Maybe a local nonprofit could use a promo video or song for their social media page. These kinds of projects help you build your artistic portfolio. Finally, creative careers often involve entrepreneurship. You can start establishing your professional reputation through an online presence, like a social media account or website that showcases your work. The Career Service Network often works with students to develop their professional presence so that you can promote your work and brand online. Or you could get experience in launching your own product or service by joining a student business incubator or participating in a pitch competition where you present your business idea to investors or business leaders. At MSU, student entrepreneurs often join the Burgess Institute for Entrepreneurship and Innovation. You can continue to learn more by visiting our website at careernetwork.msu.edu. You will find many resources that you can utilize now to explore career options by interest area. Also check out our general resources such as ONET and Candid Career that I mentioned earlier, or look at our career outcomes featured on our website that display postgraduate outcomes of MSU undergrads, offering a snapshot of the direction Spartans take their degrees upon graduation. And consider creating an account on LinkedIn 
a powerful networking tool to help you find connections in your fields of interest, including industry experts who are Spartans. There are many opportunities to learn and stay connected, and you can follow us on Instagram at MSU underscore career services, where you'll find tips for exploring careers and preparing your job search strategy. We encourage you to stay connected with career services throughout your time as a Spartan. Thank you for your time and go green. Thank you so much for sharing that great information, Christine. And a special thank you to the rest of our Career Services Network for helping our students achieve their goals every day. Next, we're gonna to move to a student testimonial. She's a current student on our campus. So her name's Olivia and she's got some great information to share. I was really drawn to MSU because uh, my parents both went there and they met there. So I think that had a big draw for me, just knowing that my family ties were connected to the school. I really feel like I grew the most when I got involved on campus. Um, I was able to get a job at the MSU Green Line and I met so many students who were very fun and energetic and we were helping the university at the same time while working there. So that was a great chance for me to grow as a person and to become more social with other groups on campus. So I would definitely recommend for you to get involved as often as you can, whether it's with clubs, sports, organizations, or even employment. Um, you'll really learn a lot about yourself and other students if you do that. And I also, of course, love the football stadium, Spartan Stadium. There's nothing quite like it being in there on a game day um, or being on North Campus as well. I think that's so beautiful around Landon Hall. Um, I would just walk around there and feel like I was in a different world, especially during the winter. So uh, there's lots of beautiful places on campus, but those are a few of my favorites. My most memorable experience here at MSU was a week-long study away program trip that I took with my college, um, the College of Arts and Letters. Uh, it was a week-long trip over spring break that was geared towards film and the film industry. So we went out during spring break to Los Angeles and connected with Spartan alumni who are involved in the industry and that really helped me to you know, really secure the fact that I, I knew that I was in the right place and that this wasn't just a pipe dream, that all actual alum from MSU have been extremely successful and really love what they do as a result of their program and time of study here at MSU. So that experience really drew the line for me and it helped to secure an internship for me. Having the opportunity to work at WKAR was really eye-opening. It really allowed me to be really involved. Um, the whole program at WKAR is very inclusive with their students and their intern program, so I feel really blessed to be a part of that. Not only do I feel more prepared and more in love with the degree program that I chose, but I feel like I'm very ready and eager to get out into the workforce and to actually put these skills into motion. So it's been nice to have a very inclusive atmosphere that helped me succeed and um, prepare me well enough to do that. Thank you so much, Olivia, for sharing your insight both inside and outside of the classroom. I now like to introduce all of you to Alec. Alec is a senior here at Michigan State University, and he's a senior in our theater department. And so he's also prepared some highlights for you as well in regards to all things communication, entertainment, and art. Take it away, Alec. At MSU, art, communications, and entertainment are celebrated across our entire campus with Big Ten facilities that give you the opportunities and resources to bring your creative ideas to life. Most importantly, the personalized support you receive here will help you build your creative skill set into a successful career. If you want to study design, art, communication, languages and cultures, writing, music, film or theater, MSU is the place for you. If you visit the library, you will find our Digital Scholarship Lab, an interdisciplinary space for technology and collaboration. This lab is the first in the United States to have an Igloo Vision visualization cylinder where multiple people can work together while surrounded by a fully immersive 360 degree projection screen. Plus, we have a one of a kind iOS lab partnership with Apple where students work to solve community challenges through app development. They also have the opportunity to give presentations to members of the campus community and Apple employees who review the apps they are working on. If you're interested in video games, did you know that MSU ranks number seven in the United States in game design? Our Games for Entertainment and Learning Lab offers students state-of-the-art technology to design prototypes and techniques and to advance the research on the social and individual effects of digital games. One of MSU's most well-known buildings, the Wharton Center for Performing Arts, ranks among the top 10 performance venues of its kind in the world. 
for theater students, our new 9,000 square foot scene shop and student laboratory offers incredible learning opportunities for theater production and design. Plus, our music building recently underwent a major renovation to provide state-of-the-art performance spaces, practice rooms, a recording and multimedia room, and a public gathering space with a cafe. A noteworthy student group is Color Me Music, formed by College of Music students who aim to provide support for collaborations among students of color and to encourage new collaborations. Or maybe you're interested in journalism. The student news station, Focal Point, allows broadcast journalism students to practice their skills on and off camera. You can also take advantage of the Spartan Newsroom and Immersive Media Studio, where students build professional skills in news, virtual reality broadcasts, animation, and motion capture. Many of these majors also require an experiential learning requirement, like doing research, working at an internship, or studying away or even abroad. Your advisor will match you with our partners outside of MSU based on your interests. Some Spartans have gone to Silicon Valley to work at Google or Microsoft, and others have studied in Europe, Costa Rica, South Africa, and more. There's a huge variety of career opportunities in art, communications, and entertainment. We have many successful alumni working in settings like advertising agencies and marketing firms, major media organizations, government and nonprofit agencies, internet companies, schools, and more. MSU offers state-of-the-art facilities and unparalleled opportunities for every student to explore their interests in art, communications, and entertainment. Spartan graduates are some of the most innovative and creative forces changing the world today. Thank you so much for sharing that information, Alec, and putting that together. Next, we're going to transition into a live student panel. If anyone has any questions for them right now, it's a great time to put them on. But with that, I'm going to have them introduce themselves. Thank you so much, Mike. So my name is Rachel. I am a rising senior from Houston, Texas. I am a hospitality business major with minors in environmental and sustainable studies, leadership of organizations, and natural resource and recreation management. Hi everyone, my name is Maria and I'm a junior from Troy, Michigan. This fall I'll be continuing to study English. I have a specialization in education, so I hope to teach English someday and I'm so excited to hear all your questions. Hi everyone, my name is Katie. I'm a senior from Groziel, Michigan. I'm studying political theory and constitutional democracy at the James Madison College and I'm getting a minor in public relations and I'm really excited to hear from all of you. Hi, everybody. My name is Joey. Uh, I am from Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, studying marketing in Eli Broad College of Business. Uh, and I'm also planning on minoring in retail management. And I'm also excited to hear all of your questions today. Well, thank you for so much for joining us. Our first question is actually going to go out to all four of you. Um, what kind of professional development experiences have you had through Michigan State, including internships and other work experiences? Sure, so that's a great question. I can go first. So Michigan State is really awesome in helping you connect with various internship possibilities within your major. So for me in the School of Hospitality Business, I did my first internship at a Emerald Level Country Club. So it was in the top 100 in the country. And then this upcoming or this current summer, I actually was supposed to be in Costa Rica at a luxury eco resort. And I was able to utilize my Michigan State connections to be able to secure that. However, COVID, so not this year, but regardless of whether your internship actually comes to fruition or not, there are tons of great opportunities for you to connect, get that resume prep and practice for your interviews. Our career fairs are amazing here as well. I'll go next. So just like Rachel was saying, there are just so many ways to find out about opportunities on campus. One way that worked for me was talking to my professors. I had a great professor my freshman year who referred me for a teacher's assistant position in my sophomore year. So I got to work with gifted students in the Lansing area, practice my teaching skills and help them learn how to write as a college student, which was such an awesome professor development opportunity for me and I look forward to getting to connect with professors in the future and getting those opportunities more. All right, so I'll go next. Um, so I actually learned about my first internship from a club I was in. Uh, we do a lot of bipartisan political events. And so through that, um, somebody sent me an internship position and they were like, hey, I think you'd be really good for this. 
Um, so networking through those clubs actually was really beneficial to helping me find out this awesome position that has now become an actual job for me. I'm, I have a permanent position with the nonprofit now. So networking through my clubs within my college was really, really helpful to me. And I guess I'll go next. So one of the really nice things about Mission State is that uh, we mentioned in the video earlier is the Career Services Network and also um, them helping you build your LinkedIn account and your Handshakes account. Those are both two really good websites to look for job opportunities and internships that fit your interests. Um, and so one of the cool things about those is that you can, um, you know, fill out kind of like a survey of what you're interested in and they match up with different internships and jobs that you may uh, consider. And so that's one of the things that I really like. And I go on those websites all the time. That actually got me to one of my first internships opportunities. Unfortunately, it got canceled because of COVID. But um, those two websites really helped me with my professional development. And then working with career advisors in the Career Center, they I went to them twice over the past two years. And one of the really nice things is that they help you with your resume building, your cover letter building to make them really strong and effective. So that's one a uh, couple of things that I really liked with my um, professional building. All right, thank you for so much. Our next question is gonna be for Katie. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what it's like to obtain a minor to add on to your major that maybe not be super related to what you're studied? Yeah, for sure. So I was interested in a minor in public re public relations because I am thinking about working on campaigns in the future. Um, and so transitioning from James Madison to my minor, there were only a couple people I knew, um, but that really helped me build my network even further. And learning different things from what other people are learning is super interesting because there's a lot I can talk about with my friends um, that, that are also in medicine that they're like, hey, I didn't think about doing that with my major. Um, that minor sounds like it might be beneficial to me or maybe I'll take some things out of your toolbox, things like that. Um, but for the most part, it was a, it was a pretty easy transition. Um, and I, I really like the public relations minor. It applies a lot to, um, like I said, potentially working on campaigns in the future. Uh, so I found it really beneficial, even though it's not directly in the James Madison College. Thanks, Katie. Our next question is going to go back to Joey. Joey, can you talk a little bit about for students who are interested in working in the sports industry? We all know that Michigan State is a Division One athletic school within the Big Ten. What kind of opportunities are there for students to get that experience before they leave, as well as connections as they you know head off to their careers? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, Mich or Michigan State actually has a sports marketing minor, um, so that's one of the easier ways to start studying that stuff. Um, but, you know, Michigan State is a football team, uh, Division One hockey team, Division One basketball team. Those are all teams that are obviously telecasted and you can work with them, uh, especially um, there's different opportunities to work in internships and with like their social media accounts, uh, working uh, as like internship with trainers. So there's a lot of different opportunities to um, apply for jobs and different ways to really um, work with those different teams. Uh, when it comes to like actual opportunities in the sports industry, going uh, to different uh, different professional teams. Uh, we know right in Lansing, we have the uh, lug nuts and they have uh, a couple different opportunities I know students do. So um, being able to get sports internships is actually a really easy thing to do, especially with that sports marketing minor, because the advisors really help you connect with those outside um, with those outside opportunities. Great. Thanks, Joey. Uh, we're going to go back to Rachel now. Rachel, can you talk a little bit about what clubs you're in, what kind of organizations are and how they're helping you achieve your goals? Absolutely. So I am very involved on campus. I'm in the Honors College and I also am a teaching assistant. In regards to the clubs that I'm a part of, I really tried to have a balance of fun clubs as well as professional development. So I am for this upcoming year, I'm the chief operating officer for the Hospitality Association. So I work to help oversee our nine clubs and three events. So that's definitely a more professional based one. I work on planning our career fair, but I also do some really fun things. I am on an intramural dog team that doesn't make it to my resume but that's a great way for me to have that development and do something that's fun I also like to get involved in just other things there's tons of free opportunities for you to go to different things volunteer chances not everything that you do has to be something that goes on your resume so make sure to find that balance of your professional develop your network but also take care of yourself and have fun as well and through all of that I've been able to make uh, some amazing friends and meet some great people all of them are on this call as well. 
Great. Thanks so much for that, Rachel. Um, our next question is going to be for all of you. What kind of made you decide on Michigan State University? How did you find yourself here in East Lansing? Okay, me again. <laughs> so uh, to kick things off, I can start. So I am actually from 1300 miles away from Michigan State. And for me, coming to Michigan State was something that was driven primarily because of my major and my minors. I wanted to go to the best school in the nation for hospitality business, and that's where we were. But over time, I was able to figure out and realize that this is the perfect place for you to balance all of your interests, majors, minors, involvement, study abroad, and it all just kind of made sense for me. So I encourage you to take that leap. Um, even if you're from far away, there's tons of resources to help you here. Awesome. So for me, um, I came in, obviously, my dad is an alumni of MSU. So there was always that MSU spirit at my house, but I really wanted to make my own way at MSU. And I found that within the College of Arts and Letters. All of our programs are just so amazing. Um, for me, English is just, I've had such a good time doing things that are out of the box. Like I got to create a podcast for my English class last semester, which was so much fun. And I didn't feel like I would find that at other universities. So to have the collaboration and just opportunities to really go outside the box, MSU felt like home for me for that because I knew I could balance work and play and really find a way to my professional goals and have a good time. Awesome. Um, for me, I actually kind of chose MSU on a whim. Um, I was looking at a lot of smaller schools and then I somehow ended up at Michigan State. So at first I felt kind of on edge, like, is this really the right place for me? Did I, did I make the right decision? Um, but after the first couple of weeks at Michigan State, I really saw how much of a community Spartans have built for each other and alumni and students, just anyone related to a Spartan in some way, shape or form is part of the Spartan community. And um, I saw that at football games with alumni and students everywhere, all kind of showing uh, that camaraderie. I saw it through my own program, um, all the alumni reach out, they're more than happy to help you with anything you need. Um, so seeing that community all across the country and really across the world is something that really made me realize I had made the right decision. Yeah, so for me, coming to Michigan State was a pretty easy decision, but there's a lot of factors that went into it. One of the biggest ones that I come from a Spartan family, uh, both my parents came here, that's where they met. Uh, I've had three older siblings graduate from here, so I'm kind of the last one to come through. Um, so that's kind of like a family connection. I really bleed green and white, but I also wanted to come here for um, the business school. Both my mom and sis, older sister, they graduated from Eli Bro. HR industry for about 20 years. Uh, my sister has worked in Hawaii and now she's working in Vail right now. And those are some of my dream locations to work. And so seeing them be so successful out of the college really motivated me to come here to study business. And I also liked the opportunities that Eli Broad had to offer. So that was definitely one of the really big factors that came in. So when just uh, deciding for college, and then I also wanted to come to a big 10 school. I knew I wanted to come to a big campus and Michigan state really just fell at home the first time it came to visit. So that, those are some of the big reasons I came. Great, thank you all so much for sharing that. Our next question is gonna to go to Maria. Maria, what kind of unique facilities have you enjoyed um, accessing while being a student at MSU? That is a great question. One of the ones I would love to plug was in our video, and that was the Digital Scholarship Lab. I have done so much group work in that facility. Um, just we were doing lesson planning. I did part of my podcast creation within that facility too. Um, there's so many resources, both computers, um, recording equipment, all that good stuff. And the 360 room is also really awesome. You can pop in there. If you're like an architecture major or something with design, you can even throw your designs up onto the 360 room and see them projected around you, which is so awesome to really see what you've worked so hard to do come alive on campus. So there's definitely so many facilities. Digital Scholarship Lab is my personal favorite though. Thanks for sharing that, Maria. Our next question is going to go back to Rachel. Uh, when you had mentioned we were looking at different schools, you had said study abroad. Now, I know your story, so I'd love for you to share it with the rest of the crowd. Absolutely. So my favorite study abroad experience that I did at Michigan State is I got to go to Antarctica over winter break. And for me, that was such a big dream. I really want to be involved in ecotourism and sustainable travel. And Michigan State is one of the few places that has a program that really allows you to actually 
get your hands on the land that you're talking about. And so being able to go down there, be surrounded by penguins, I slept in an ice trench and was really able to do everything that I said that I want to do in the future. And really having those opportunities to do that and to take that risk, whether you're doing Antarctica or you're going to Belize or Costa Rica or Canada, you have so many opportunities and our study abroad program is absolutely phenomenal. So definitely, if that's something you're interested in, go and check out our website. I guarantee you there is something for everyone there. Thanks so much for that, Rachel. And our last question is going to be for all four of you. Do you have any advice you'd like to share with some students in high school who are watching this? They're about to graduate. And what's your favorite part about Michigan State? So my biggest piece of advice, I kind of touched on it earlier, is really take the leap. If this is what feels right for you and this is where you're meant to be, go ahead and do it. I know that it can be really scary, but rest assured, we have so many resources and so many people at Michigan State that want for you to succeed. So really just go ahead and do it. I know that you'll be supported here. I think my favorite thing about Michigan State is the camaraderie and the environment. I always feel supported in my classes, not only by my professors, but also fellow students as well. There's not a competitive environment. Yes, we're competitive holistically, but we want each other to succeed. So for me, that's what makes it feel like home. My advice to anyone coming into college would be to really work on time management. For me coming in, I did not realize how much free time I would have. Some days I have one class, some days I have three. Freshman year, I spent so much time on Netflix that I really just, you know, needed to get a routine going. And there's so many ways on campus to figure out what to fill your time with. So clubs, going to football games, basketball games, exploring campus during your first couple of months. There's so many ways to fill your time. For me, and my favorite part of MSU kind of ties in. I just loved exploring campus. I was really emotional when I had to leave this past spring with everything. Living in North neighborhood was the most special part of campus for me. It's really the heart of the arts and letters program. I've found there's so many great people there and it's just a great way to feel connected to your classes. It's so historic and walking around and feeling the Spartan spirit is why I love MSU. So my favorite thing about Michigan State uh, ties into my advice for everyone coming in. The best part about Michigan State is that there's something for everybody. And there's not just one thing for everybody, there's dozens of things for everybody. So there's so many clubs you can join, so many different classes you can take. All this stuff lets you try something new or find your comfort zone or basically anything you wanna do, you can find it at Michigan State, which is super important. Um, I've joined so many different clubs since I've been here. Um, I've tried a lot of different things through those clubs and through classes. Like I was supposed to be taking a scuba diving class uh, this fall. Um, I've never scuba dived, scuba dove before, um, but that sort of thing is what you're able to do at a big school like Michigan State. So my favorite thing is that there's so many different things for you to try. And if you do end up coming to this awesome, awesome community, you should try as much as you can. Get that all in while you can, because um, Michigan State is a great environment to try new things um, and just really go with it. So I think that's the best part about Michigan State. Yeah, for some you know, advice for incoming freshmen or anybody that's looking at college, uh, kind of piggybacking off Maria is getting in a routine is key. Uh, you know, when I came here spring semester as a freshman, I was kind of lost for a bit. But after about a week, I got into this nice routine about going to class. In between those classes, I always had something to do. And by that time, uh, the days seemed to, buy, seemed to go by faster. And basically having a routine makes the day feel a lot better and it makes it feel a lot easier. Um, and kind of going back, this will kind of tie into my favorite thing about Michigan State is just go to a sporting event, whether that's football, basketball, soccer, underwater hockey, whatever it might be, go check that out. Going to a basketball game and going to football games are my two favorite things to ever do here. Um, watching our team, rooting for Michigan State, uh, singing the fight song, sing, singing the alma mater, uh, MSU Shadows. That's always the best memories I have at Michigan State is doing that, especially with all my friends. And the last thing is get involved. Get involved in anything you might possibly think of. Because again, Michigan State has everything. I promise you go on any of our websites, there's something that will pique your interest. Uh, that's what I did. You know, I, I found a bunch of different clubs that I like to do, and now I'm involved. I've met a lot of great friends because of that. Um, and it's really been a, that's really been the best part about Michigan State. 
All right. Well, Rachel, Maria, Katie, Joey, thank you all so much for sharing your experiences and your enthusiasm and especially your time today for, you know, joining us. And uh, what we're going to do next is just do a couple of housewarming or housekeeping things before logging off the stream today. Uh, first and foremost, if you found any of this information particularly interesting and want to expound upon it, I highly encourage you all to a check out our admissions website, check out also the different college websites, but also join us again for our college spotlight series coming up. We're going to be taking a deeper dive into the specific colleges within the university where your majors are housed and more information can be found on that at admissions.msu.edu forward slash spotlight. Additionally, as we move on, um, you can see here the rest of our week, we have two more days of green and, white, green and white uploaded left. So that'll be education and public services on Thursday, as well as social and cultural studies on Friday. If you're not sure which session to join, I encourage you to join both or take a look at greenandwhiteday.com for more information. Thank you all so much today for joining us and Molly, back to you. Thank you so much, Mike. And we want to thank all of you out there today. I know we opened up our homes for you, but you also did the same for us. You kept an open mind and an open heart so you could receive all of this information and we really appreciate it. It's very untraditional for us to be doing it this way, but this is what 2020 has offered us. So if you want to see more about campus, we do have virtual tours. Go to liveon.msu.edu and hopefully we get to see you on campus soon. Tomorrow, join us. Education and Public Service, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much and go green. Go white.